I have been talking for five minutes straight thinking that I was recording the whole time and now I just have to repeat what I'm saying. Hi everyone, I really hope that you guys really liked the last video, the decorate my car with me video with all the car Amazon must haves and I absolutely loved the vibes under the comments and I kept getting a few DMs and a few people telling me you should do a car tour video. I do have a car part that I want to put in my freaking car. I've been holding on to it for so long to the point where California made that mod illegal and the only way I can get it installed into my car is if I drive to Arizona. Before we get started, I really hope that you guys like, comment, and subscribe because if you don't and you're just watching it for like the hex of it, you're probably procrastinating in your room and you just need something to watch and you just don't click subscribe. Hurt my feelings. I'm just kidding. But I really do appreciate if you guys would subscribe because a really high percentage of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed, especially the returning viewers. Just putting it out there. So now I'm just gonna show you the exterior of the car and then I'm gonna show you the interior of the car. Okay, so this is what I was talking about, but I get so much hate because of this front grill. I can see why. I mean, I do plan on changing it in the future, but I would have to change this entire front bumper. And that can get really expensive, especially since it has to get rewrapped. I also get a lot of hate because of my rims. These are replicas, by the way, but I just really love how there's a lot of spokes in the rims and just kind of brings out the aggressiveness in my car. And I do have a spoiler. I just haven't put it on my car yet. I had a custom sticker made for my car and it says RT Baby. So when this whole thing lights up, especially at night, you'll see the words RT Baby. For my Instagram, I have my car club sticker, Golden State Muscle Car Club. I have the rally stripes. At first, it was just these two stripes, but over time I was like kind of getting bored of it and I just felt like it was missing something. So I had distinct auto styling at another one like a thinner one, just to make it look wider, thus giving it a more aggressive look. The car definitely needs a wash. But the detailer I always go to, which is a five-star service, is in the Bay Area. Their name is Top Tree Detailings. I wanted a very specific pink. I didn't want no rosy, light pink. I didn't want no magenta. I didn't want hot pink. I wanted a warm-toned coral-colored pink. And I just feel like you don't see a lot of these specific pinks just because this is a custom color and it's a custom wrap. And when you open the car, you still see that B5 blue. I actually don't mind because my boyfriend says like it always looks like cotton candy whenever I open my door. But I actually plan on keeping it blue because I feel like blue and pink just go together so nicely. Not only do I plan on putting on the spoiler, I also am waiting for a diffuser. And I'm gonna get pink tips for the exhaust tips. I absolutely love my car. Oh my god, doing this one-handed. Okay. It's dirty. I do plan on doing some engine mods and I'm really excited. The only thing I have in here is my cold air intake. I did have some problems with, I think it was that headlight right there. It kept turning on and off. Maybe a bulb that just kind of like, I guess, burnt out. And I literally just had to go into the fuse box and just like, take out um i think what number was it it was literally these two take it out and then put it back in which was like what the heck like i literally i almost freaking took it to the mechanic to like check it out because i thought it was like something wrong with the wiring it's literally all we had to do we just had to take it out and put it back in and that bam definitely gonna have top tier detailings clean that and for those who like don't really understand like cars i guess i don't know um, but it's okay because I was there too. Uh, this is like the size of the engine and the V8 is just an 8 cylinder. And it's a Hemi. Yes, my car is debadged, but I did order some custom badges to put on the side. That's literally going to say RT Baby and I'm literally so freaking excited. But it's like a month wait. Like a five week wait. In the back of my car, let me show you. Me with my little arms. Ignore the dirt. But it says sponsored by audacity cosmetics it's really tiny but i kind of want to make it bigger like maybe put it like right here at the center at the bottom but i love my car now we can take a look in the interior now first off we have the driver's seat we have the suede we have the alcantara seats and a lot of people literally ask me where did you get the seats like I honestly, these were already installed when I got the car. I do have the carbon fiber trim on my wheel. And at first, I wanted to like black out the interior. 
But then I was like, that's fucking expensive. And I personally kind of like the silver look. We have memory seating. Number one is me. Number two is my boyfriend. Yes, I let my boyfriend drive my car. He drives a scat pack. His car is way better than mine. He has way more horsepower than me. The Beats sound system. One thing my boyfriend don't got on me. Oh, this is the one thing I have on him. But fragrance mist. I have these car fragrances for my car. These are from Chemical Guys. We have the Fresh Cherry Blast and we have the watermelon one, which is a gift for my suegra. And then this, if you guys saw my previous video, you guys would know that this is just like a little emergency pack I have. This is actually my emergency break. If I wanna pop my trunk, I just push that button. I always have my light settings in auto just because I don't wanna actually manually do it myself. So it'll just do it on its own. Entire interior is black. I have star lights, which I will show you momentarily. My dash cam, and I'll actually leave my dash cam linked below cause that's something I didn't include in my previous video. Okay, really quick thing. I know that I'm interrupting the video. Most of the time when people do come across my videos, they ask, what do you do for a living? And of course I own a small business. So if you guys are just clicking on this video and you've never seen my videos before, you've never seen me before, before you've never seen me on TikTok or YouTube or Instagram. I own a business and it's a cosmetic line called Audacity Cosmetics. And a lot of people ask me where I get my materials. So if you have a business or you're starting a business, I highly recommend you get this printer for printing your shipping labels. It's going for $95 right now and most printers out there are like at $200, $300, like you can get this for like hella cheap and start shipping your packages with labels that already come with an adhesive and no ink and toner is required to print with this a lot of people ask me can you print in color like no it's literally just black and white you know just something to keep in your head rent free and i have the vanity mirror that was mentioned previously in my other video i have my shifters here i rarely use them i just use this regular regular gear shift thingamabob i'm literally obsessed with my seats so many people ask me a few of my friends who drive rts are like let me buy them off of you and i'm like no stay in your lane i really like clean look here because i can just cover this up whenever i want but i have these little coasters in here with the pink rt symbol and this is a button i used to access siri i'm obsessed with my car i actually really love my car now i'm moving to the back of my car pretty fast and simple if you guys watched my previous video you guys would know i got these hangers and I really love the clean look because I wanted them in black. I just wanted them to look semi discreet, just kind of like blend in with the look of the interior of the car. I think there's a pretty good amount of headspace you get back here. Um, I don't know how my passengers feel when they do ride in this car. I literally just have my Michael Kors purse. So easy to access because I can literally just put an arm right over and grab it. It's so convenient because sometimes when I do leave my purse right there. It just falls when I'm driving. I actually have a backup camera run all the wires through literally the interior of the car so you don't see any wires. So the wires literally going from here all the way down there all the way to the front and I do need to buy a hard wiring kit just because I don't want the power. I don't want the dash cam gaining its power from my lights. So my dash cam actually records the interior of the car, front on the outside and the back. And there's parking mode, there's, what's it called, night vision. All that good good to like make sure my car is protected. And so that nobody tries it because in my neighborhood, my car has actually gotten egg. And it actually like damaged like my wrap. Like a whole last freaking egg, bro. And I was like so mad. I literally had just gotten the wrap too. But distinct auto stylings came in clutch and actually like rewrapped that little part that was damaged for free. So I was actually really thankful for that. I always get so tense when someone like pulls up to the parking lot because they're probably looking at like what the heck is this girl doing but i don't care i'm trying to get in the habit of not caring okay, what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pull up right there in that parking spot very quickly give you guys a few revs and then i'm gonna dip because i'm i really don't want to be disrespectful but i just kind of want to get this over with you can literally just hear i don't know if the camera can hear it or not but like you can literally hear all the wilderness really pretty here this is a really good picture spot actually <sighs> let's just get it over with See, there's like people coming up, okay? The goal got a dip. So this is what it looks like at night. This is like some other day that I'm recording this. I have the little remote right here. I'm gonna stop light. I can change it colors, I can change it blue, I can change it green, I can change it red. 
I'm gonna chill with purple right now. That's literally the vibe. It's not distracting when I'm driving. Um, I thought it was really funny how it has a mode where I can have it consistently as red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. I would never dare and try it. Believe me, I would never dare to try it. But if I wanted to, I can make people move out of the way immediately. We're gonna do that with some sort of cock. That's basically it. Two more minutes until I got